Hello everyone, uh, Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Hope everybody is uh, well today. Um, I'm out on my Farron OS Linux system and today I thought I would take another look at WireGuard. I've got it set up on my uh, desktop main PC. I've got it set up in my Acer laptop running uh, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and Windows 10. Uh, and I have, but I don't have it set up in Windows 10 yet, but I also have uh, an iPhone and I've got WireGuard VPN set up on that. So I thought I would take a look at WireGuard and so we'll look at that right after this. Okay, I'm back on the desktop, and so let's go out to the website uh, for WireGuard, and here it is. Um, WireGuard, if you're not familiar with it, is a VPN service that is peer-to-peer, -peer, but you can configure it to uh, utilize as a regular VPN service and get out on the web, and everything that you do on the web is encrypted. Uh, it also hides your IP address so that your WAN IP provided by your ISP is changed. Uh, and in my case, mine is a Linode server uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm I'm not in Atlanta. Uh, so every, anybody who sniffs packets and uh, traces me uh, and follows me would would think I'm in Atlanta, but I'm not in Atlanta. So the VPN is working great for me, and uh, I'll show you uh, the Linode server where I set it up here in a moment. But this is the website. I'll put a link to this down under the video as well as all the other links that I talk about. WireGuard is built into the kernel uh, of Linux and uh, it's it's really fantastic because unlike OpenVPN or IPsec or some of the other VPN technologies, WireGuard is very lean, uh, very fast, and very effective. Uh, when I connect to it uh, on any device I have, uh, it's instantaneously connected uh, and instantaneously disconnected as well. Um, I don't have any issues connecting. It doesn't take a few seconds or even a second. I mean, it's just instantaneous. Uh, the speeds I get when I do uh, speed tests, and I'll demonstrate that here in this video, um, are really unaffected. I mean, it's it's amazing how um, WireGuard uh, doesn't impact your upload or download speeds to that any great degree. Unlike OpenVPN, I've experienced in the past uh, where I would uh, do a speed test and then turn around, invoke OpenVPN, and uh, my speeds would be cut in half almost. And so I don't like that. WireGuard doesn't do that, and uh, that's why I use WireGuard. It's simple and easy to use. It's uh, cryptographically sound, very small, uh, only about 4,000 lines of code. And uh, unlike IPsec, which is about... 460,000 lines of code uh, and so that means that it's uh, very safe as well and not easily hackable uh, not as likely to be hacked because uh, it's very much easier to find vulnerabilities in 460,000 lines of code than it is on only 4,000 lines so it's cryptographically sound it's uh, got a minimal attack surface as I mentioned it's a high performance uh, VPN and well-defined and uh, thoroughly considered. Um, these guys know what they're doing with uh, WireGuard. Understand that uh, Linus Torvalds, the developer of the Linux kernel, fully supports WireGuard, and I'm happy to hear that. And in fact, it is uh, built into the kernel uh, by default in Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, which I have on my Acer laptop. And so, um, I didn't have to install it on that, but I did have to install it in this Linux system I'm running here, which is Farron OS Linux, um, and it is a Debian-based, so I did have to install it there. I have a blog article here out on my blog um, at Data Pioneer's blog at uh, datapioneer-network.org uh, called Setting Up WireGuard VPN on a Linode and Debian 9 Linux. Uh, check that out. I'll put a link to that in the below the video as well. Several pages long, and it talks about WireGuard and setting it up and everything. Um, so let's get back to 
the desktop here and uh, let me click on this uh, go back to the desktop um, and actually let me get back out to the terminal all right so in the terminal I've got several aliases set up uh, to invoke and to revoke the WireGuard uh, connection here on my desktop PC um, and so to do the uh, WireGuard setup what I'll do is first do a speed test in the terminal and show you what the speeds are and then I'll turn uh, WireGuard VPN on and um, show you uh, how much of an impact that WireGuard has on it. So let's do a speed test. So let's do a speed test dash CLI and run that. And so this is a, uh, a little thing in the terminal that uh, allows you to run a speed test through the terminal. Notice that the IP address here, 71 dash, or dot 81 dot 208 dot 174, that's the IP address of my uh, WAN provided by my Spectrum uh, Communications ISP. It says my download speed is 200.84 uh, megabits per second. That's exactly what it should be. Uh, the upload speed though never tests uh, up to what it should be uh, for whatever reason using speed test uh, dash CLI. It should be around 11 but it shows 3.31. Alright so we're gonna we're gonna compare the speed test that we got here and this is over a wired connection uh, with what we get when we turn a uh, wire guard on. So to turn wire guard on I have an alias set up that um, I can show you what it looks like. Uh, the alias is WG up and down. So WG up is sudo WG dash quick up WG1. WG1.conf is the file set up in my Etsy wire guard directory. Uh, so uh, Etsy forward slash WireGuard is the directory where WireGuard is installed and WG1.conf or .conf is the configuration file uh, for WireGuard on this system. Now you'll have to go to my article on my blog to see how that was set up and what the significance of that is. Alright so let's go ahead and do WG up and turn WireGuard on. I need to log in here and so it's uh, invoked WireGuard now and so to prove that I can do WG uh, if I do sudo WG and you can see that I have WireGuard running right now the last handshake was 10 seconds ago alright so let's clear the screen and let's do a speed test now with WireGuard implemented And let's see what impact WireGuard has on our speeds here. I usually do speed tests through the browser, uh, but I thought I'd do it through the terminal today. 203.14. Now, I'm on the same connection. I'm on a wired connection. I've got WireGuard turned on. And, um, and I'll prove that in just a moment. Um, and I actually got better download speed than when I had WireGuard turned off. Okay? So that's the beauty of WireGuard, guys. All right, so let's look at, uh, I've got another alias called, uh, let's see, alias, let me, can't remember what I called it. It is called public IP. And so if I do clear and do public IP, it shows me what my public IP address is, and that's 74.207.233.107. Now that's the public IP address of my, uh, or the IP address rather, of my server at Linode in Atlanta. That's not the IP address that I have on my WAN. So that's actually hiding my IP address. And if I go out to uh, here to my browser and go to uh, IP Chicken, IP Chicken also tells me that I have 74.207.233.107. Now if I go into my Linode, uh, let me go up click on another tab, go up on my Linode account where I have the Linode server that you'll read about in the article uh, of how I set up WireGuard. Let me log in here and um, show you that the IP address associated, this is a uh, Debian 9, Kerberos is what I named it, Debian 9 server, which is uh, a nanode server with one gig of RAM, one CPU, 25 gigs of storage in Atlanta. So it's not beefy by any stretch, but it's just it's enough for WireGuard. 
So if I click on it, 74.207.233.107 uh, is the IP address of my server in Atlanta, and it's not my IP address, okay? So this is working great. It's uh, encrypting my traffic. If I go back out to the terminal, and you can see there's the IP address at, uh, at the command in the terminal provided for me. Now, if I do WG down, that will deactivate WireGuard or turn it off. And if I do a uh, public IP again, you can see that my IP address now has changed back to the one that was assigned to me by my ISP. And if I refresh uh, IP chicken uh, here, you can see that it goes back to the IP address that was assigned to me by Spectrum uh, here in uh, my hometown. So um, WireGuard is working very well here on my system. It's hiding my IP address. It's encrypting my traffic. Uh, you can see from the speed tests that were conducted that uh, not impacting my speeds at all. Uh, the connection is instantaneous, and the disconnect is instantaneous as well. Um, to show that again, I'll go back out to the terminal. If I do a WG up, I'm connected. I mean, it's that fast. All right. And if I do a if I do a WG show. I'll do a sudo wg. You can see that I am connected here. And if I do a wg down, I am disconnected. All right. And if I do a wg again, it's not returning anything, which means that uh, I am disconnected from WireGuard. All right. So go out to the article um, on the web, my website. Check out the article. Read about how I set it up. You can duplicate that uh, with a Linode server as well and you'll be connected to WireGuard if you're running Linux. Hope this uh, this video was helpful to you today. If you like the video, go ahead and click on the like button. Give me a thumbs up on it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Enjoy talking to you today and bringing WireGuard to you again and uh, have, have a nice day and take care. This is Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel saying good afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.